Okay, good afternoon, guys. So today's class, we are going to discuss about partnership advantages, disadvantages from examination point of view. This is very very important, and in advantages, disadvantages may be asked in ten marks. Again, along with this, today I would like to discuss about types of partners. Again, this also may be asked in ten marks or in. Five marks. If in five marks it is asked, write any five types of partners. If it in ten marks, if it is asked, write total types of partners. So before going to partners, let us go through the advantages, disadvantages. In the other class, I explained you the features. Now let us go to the go through the advantages and disadvantages. Partnership, as you all know, it is relationship between two or more persons who carry on business organization. um uh, the con the operations may be conducted by all of them or any one of them acting for all is called as partnership relationship between two or more persons you know already we discuss about that so at first advantage of partnership is that it can be easily started you know just like sole trader partnership firm organization also can be started uh, quickly no formalities are required again in partnership also just like sole trader registration is not mandatory not compulsory and you know like company form of organization you need not to prepare various documents like memorandum article list of directors etc you know it can be easily started with agreement simply agreement is the condition you know partnership comes into an existence with agreement if you have agreement among the members in a written it is enough other documents are not necessary so it is it can be started you know very easy formalities you know time con time consuming process will not be there couple of people coming together pooling up their resources gathering money uh, you know then we, they can start uh, you know this form of business organization example of this form of business organization are cinema theaters hotels restaurants Uh, you know uh, these business organizations are suitable for medium and small uh, small size of business organization so it can be started very easily no legal formalities and at the same time next advantage is large resources capital also can be gathered large uh, larger than what you gather in case of sole trading concern at the same time managerial 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 Uh, resources also can be gathered so large resources especially capital when it comes to money you know you can gather money more than a single person what he is gathering in sole trading form of business organization only single person will arrange the entire capital but here in case of partnership form of business organization capital can be arranged by uh, you know two members three members minimum number of members required is two maximum is 10 or 20 so those 20 members will gather money so automatically the money whatever is raised will be on a large will be large uh, when compared to sole trading form of business organization when you are going through the advantages and disadvantages you have to compare with uh, other business organization when when you make comparison then understanding becomes easy so when compared to sole trading form of business organization capital is large but when compared to one com when when compared to when compared to company form of organization capital is limited in case of partnership only 20 members 10 members are 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 uh, are arranging capital but in case of company form of business organization whole nation uh, from the general public you will gather money so what that is disadvantage advantage it, it is advantage when you compare it with sole trading concern it is disadvantage when you compare uh, compare partnership with uh, company form of organization when compared to company form of organization capital is very less why because in company whole nation whole world you know in case of Uh, size of the company uh, you know capital may be raised so large amount of capital thousands of crores can be gathered in case of company so that much capital you cannot raise in case of partnership that is advantage and disadvantage further in case of another advantage is decisions will be better 
when compared to sole trading form of business organization in sole trading only single person will take decision he will he will think from only single single uh, single point of view but here different partners from different backgrounds will come with a different managerial ability capacity they will they will be gathered so on every issue they will they will discuss you know after discussion after taking opinion suggestion something will be decided finally something will be decided so decision in case of uh, partnership form of business organization will be wise decision it may not come quickly but uh, you know decisions will be wise uh, you know because decision taking correct decision at correct time is very very important if you take wrong decision then business may land in trouble so better decision decisions whatever is taken will be wise decision again next advantage is benefit of specialization different people you know in partnership form of business organization here let me let me tell you one thing that division of labor can be implemented division of labor means different partners will be there and work of the work in partnership form will be divided according to the ability capacity potentiality of the potentiality of the partners some partner may be expert in marketing some partner may be expert in advertisement some partner may be expert in purchasing some partner may be expert in uh, you know in different field they will be uh, they will be expert so work will be allotted to them depending upon the skill talent of the partners because of that specialization develops specialization means partners when they do similar work only similar work work one time of one time one type of work they are doing automatically they become perfect in that uh, you know there will be efficiency effectiveness arises in 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 a partnership expenditures can be reduced time can be saved that is the benefit of specialization for example couple of doctors you know of different specialty come together and they can start a clinic or multi specialty hospital got it sir so different doctors with different expertise uh, expertise will be there that is called as benefit of specialization and and next advantage is flexibility in operation it is not rigid you know just like sole trading partnership also can be changed can be amended you know you can change the nature you can you can make make modification adjustments according to the conditions according to the customers according to the environment according to the market conditions you can make changes you know changes is possible it is not rigid these were the advantages now let us go through disadvantage disadvantage is first unlimited liability you know partners liability will be personal partners liability will be individual partners liability will be joint several uh, you know their personal properties will be at it it will be in danger while discharging the debts so here just like sole trader partners liability is also limited there is a threat there is a there is a fear that partners may if if something goes wrong partners may lose both their personal properties as well as business properties also that is one liability which was there in sole trading concern also instability because you know again partnership goes along with the partners if something happens to partner you know it affects the existence of the existence of the firm if partner retires if partner dies if 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 agreement is cancelled new agreement if you are preparing because of these events events like death insolvency lunacy uh, you know retirement of the partner will affect the existence of business mm, business may get affected and maybe maybe may may come to closure that is one disadvantage again further in in case of partnership form of business organization no partner can transfer his share without the consent of the other partner this is disadvantage when compared to joint stock company in case of joint stock companies you know there every every shareholder is free to transfer their share without the without bringing it in a notice of the um, company also you can there the their shareholders can transfer their share but in case of partnership no partner can transfer his share you can transfer only with the consent of the other partners and lastly last disadvantage is burden of employed authority the other day i explained your word employed authority employed authority is exercised by a generally by the active partner employed authority means you know you are getting some rights you know, to uh, to do the operation uh, in, the, in the bona fide interest of the firm got it sir like you know 
uh, issuing checks, uh, accepting bills, uh, drawing checks, uh, accepting checks, uh, employing um, uh, employees, expelling the employees, you know, opening bank account, uh, opening bank account in the name of the firm. So if you have this implied authority, you can deal with the third parties and your action will be will bind the other partner that is implied authority now how it is disadvantage means a dishonest partner may misuse this misuse uh, honest dishonest partner may misuse this right misuse this authority so uh, from that angle it is it is disadvantage okay sir now quickly i would like to wrap up by 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 discussing types of partners you know, first type of partner is active partner. Active partner is a partner who who takes part uh, in the partnership activities 24 into 7. He performs various functions. He is considered as manager, designer, controller, organizer. So he performs various functions in, in various department. In every department, he will be present. Such partners are called as active partner, just like other partners, just like other partners, active partner also contribute contribute to the firm he invest money in the firm he has participation in the management the only difference between active partner and other partner is that active partner will be available in the firm 24 into 24 into 7 that is called as sleeping partner now coming to next type of partner sleeping partner sleeping partner can also be called as dormant partner um, sleeping partner dormant partner is nothing but partner who invest who invest capital who has uh, who has participation in the ma management who is partner actually just like active partner but the difference is that uh, the general public the outsider may not know that he is a partner Actually, he is a partner, but he is hidden. He, he, you know, public doesn't know that he is a partner. He will not let public know that he is partner. All, all rights, duties, all, you know, he will having same what other partners has. Such partners are called as sleeping partner. And a nominal partner means just who exist in, uh, in name, just who exist in name. Nominal partner means. Uh, actually he is, he is, he is not, a, not, not at all a partner, he will not contribute, he will not invest, he will not have participation in the management. Nominal partner simply is a partner who has been considered as partner uh, for benefit of the firm. For example, any, uh, any credit worthy person or any, any celebrity, uh, you know, celebrity's name can be taken as partner. He will not invest in the firm but his name will be used for the for the sake of the firm so he will lend his own he will lend his name uh, you know such partners are called as nominal partner he is not at all a partner but if he deals with the third party just like other partners he will be responsible to the third parties you know other other types of partners uh, other types of partner is partner in profit this is example of minor partner partner in profit means who who participate only when the when the firm earns profit when the firms get losses pro partner in profit or minor partner will not have share in the losses such partners are called as partners in profit which means partner will take participation only in profits they will not take participation in in loss generally minor will be taken as partners in profit minor is a partner minor is a person who is below 18 year of age sometime if by taking a minor into the firm if it is benefiting the firm you know the, the other partners may take minor as a partner in that case he will be responsible only in profits and his liability will be limited when when minor becomes major his liability from limited liability will be converted into uh, unlimited liability partner by estoppel means you know he is not at all a partner but by his actions by his word of mouth he will pretend uh, in front of the public as if he is a partner he is not at all partner but by his mouth he will tell the other partner other other public outsiders that he is a partner so in that condition he becomes partner to whom he has 
he has spoken that he is a partner partner by estoppel for example you know two partners are there i am the third one i know these two partners you know i am friend of them so these two partners when they were going to borrow loan from the bank or when they were borrowing from any any creditor i you know being the third person actually i was not at all a partner but to pro, but to help my two friends in getting loan from bank or getting loan from any creditors i have I, i said in front of the creditors that i am a partner simply in front of those two partners i said by my words and my with my expression i behaved as if i am a partner in such condition i become partner by estoppel partner by holding out in the sense he, he is also not a, he is actually he is actually he is also not a partner but when existing partners tells in front of the third parties that he is a partner and if he does not uh, if he denies on that if he does not react on it in that condition that third partner become partner by holding out these were the couple of types of partners uh, you know this is very important in 10 marks or sometime it may be asked in 5 marks you should be ready for both i will come with another topic in next class thank you guys